The first card you have your past is the Seven of Swords, yes. So yeah, this is obviously the sneaky card. Um, I think you might have been, I think you might have been thinking or even suspecting that um, something wasn't quite right. And I think this was around someone you were close to. I can't quite see if this is a love connection or a friend, could be either. Um, but there was a lot of closeness between you and this person. This person was really close to you. Um, but you have, you know, you have a really, really strong um, set of instincts. You have really sharp instincts and they're always right. Always. They are always right. And this is probably why you couldn't let this go. I think, you know, something wasn't right. It was in your mind. It was in your head. You couldn't get it out of your mind around this. You know, if you, you were thinking this about this person. Um, and I don't think there was even any hard evidence or anything like that. I, there might not have been any evidence at all, but you just knew you knew something wasn't right. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. I don't know if you even um, said anything to them or much to them. I don't think you accused them of anything. I think you were just kind of sensing this feeling, this strange thing that was happening around them and you kind of knew something was up. Um, you know, you're a creative person. <clears throat> Excuse I'm sorry about my throat. You're a creative person and you're an, ima you're an imaginative person. Um, so, I think part of you might have even wondered if you're imagining things, um, if you're imagining this kind of strange energy that was around them. But you weren't. You weren't imagining anything. Um, people accuse me of trying to make people feel paranoid sometimes. I'm not trying to do that. I just know in your case that your instincts are very, very strong. Uh, and you know, if you felt something was wrong, it was. If you felt something was a bit off or something was not quite right, you were right. That's what I'm seeing. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. The next card you have for your past is the chariot. Um, I know this is all in the past, but um, you know, if you haven't found out what this is going, what what this is all about, what your instincts were trying to tell you, uh, or what they were trying to point you toward, you will definitely find this out. Um, I think this is what your instincts were trying to do. They were trying to steer you in the right direction. You know, your instincts are like a map. They're showing you where to go. They're showing you where to go and what to avoid. They're always there. Um, and if you look at this man in this chariot, he's driving this chariot instinctively. Um, these two sphinxes are kind of pulling it, um, but the man isn't holding any reins. He's directing them with his mind. And that's what your instincts are. You don't need to see the reins. You don't need to see the evidence in front of you. Your instincts were telling you. And, you know, these instincts are inside your mind and they're staring you, they're directing you. So I'd say at this time that you were being directed away from this person, um, at least until you knew exactly what was happening. Your instincts are there to protect you as well as to guide you. So I think your instincts were telling you um, just lay low a bit, distance yourself a bit from this person, move away from them for a while, move towards something else for a while, just get away from them. Something's not right about them. It's that kind of thing. The last card you have your past is the Eight of Cups. Um, so yeah, I think you did walk away or at least you distanced yourself from this person, but not forever. I mean, to me, this man looks as if he's about to walk away um, and he's about, or he is walking away, but he looks as if he's about to walk around this hill and then come back around again. And um, I think your instincts were probably right because, um, okay, I'll just tell you what I'm seeing. Something happened at night or very early in the morning, something that nobody else saw. Only the moon saw what was happening. And uh, whatever was happening wasn't good because the moon on this card doesn't look very happy. He he looks as if he's giving this whole scene the side eye, actually. So, so yes, if you haven't walked away already, you probably will. And you'll probably come back, though, uh, maybe just to talk or whatever. But if you do decide to resume things, I'm not seeing it ever feeling the same again. Um, I think, you know, if this relationship is, um, if this is a relationship, it probably won't last in the long term, I'm sorry to say. If this is a friendship, um, you might still end up talking to each other, but you won't be close. You won't be as close. Things won't be the same again. Um, that's what I'm seeing in this card. So the first card you have your present is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is a different person all over again. This is a completely different situation I'm seeing in this card. 
I'm seeing someone who's always been a little bit negative, uh, not too terrible. I think this might be a relative and maybe they're either coming to visit you or they're going to meet you somewhere and maybe you haven't met them for a long time or for a while or something like that. I think this might be a parent um, because I'm just getting this image of an older relative and you're very close to them or you, you grew up with them or something like that. Um, so, you know, they can be a bit difficult and they can be a bit critical as well sometimes. But um, you'll meet this person, you'll spend time with them. I can really feel a bit of tension around this. So you might be sort of gearing yourself up for this visit, sort of preparing yourself. Maybe, you, maybe you're thinking about what you're going to say. Um, oh, um, if they say this thing, I'll say that. You, know, If they're going to be difficult, I'll do this, I'll say that. Um, I actually think you might um, be, you might have a bit of sense of humour about this actually around this situation. Um, you're going to be ready for some things, uh, sayings that they always say over and over again. It might be like you meet someone and you meet this person and they always say the same thing. They might always criticize the same thing. And, you know, I think, yeah, you have every right to be annoyed with them, but I think you're going to have a sense of humor about this. I have a parent, I just, this just makes me think of this. I have a parent, every time I see them, they talk about my appearance in some way. They say, oh, your hair looks this, or oh, you're wearing this, or oh, you've lost weight, you've gained weight, you this, you're that, you look this, you look a bit tired. It's always something about my appearance every single time. And I get, you know, I used to be really annoyed. Like, why do they always bring up my appearance every single time? Why? You know, I'm here to talk to them. They're always bringing up my appearance. And it, it, anything about my appearance. But then after I got used to them, I was like, okay, I know where I see them. The first thing they'll say is, oh, you look this or you look that or you whatever. Uh, so I just laugh. Okay, okay, let's see how long it takes for them to say that. You know, so it's it's something like that. I think you kind of have a sense of humor around this and you're kind of ready and waiting for them. And also I think, you know, you're not going to be too stressed about this, I think. This is only a short visit as well. The Knight of Wands rushes in and out. He doesn't say, you know, he doesn't stay for very long. So this is probably why you're not going to be as stressed as you usually would be around this person. Um, if you're staying with them for two weeks or something like that, it might be a different story, but you're not going to do that. So the next card you have for your present is the Knight of... It's not, not the Knight, the Nine of Cups. Um... Yeah, I think, okay, I think you might either hear or see something about this person in the Seven of Swords. And I think you're probably still going to be either taking a break from this person or you're just not going to be around them at this time. This is something that you're choosing. You're choosing not to be around them at this time. You're choosing to be in control of who you have around you and who you don't have around you. So you're going to be, at this time, you're going to be away or you are away from this person. I don't think you've had a great dramatic um, ending with them yet. Uh, I think you're just kind of um, distancing yourself, not really talking to them much. You're just laying low a bit. But I think at this time you might be seeing something on social media about this person. Um, it's going to be something like that, I think. And um, Okay, I'm actually getting the feeling that they might be restricting you in some way, restricting you on social media, restricting what you're seeing or something like that. And I think you're going to come to realize what's actually happening uh, with this person. I don't know if um, a mutual friend is going to tell you something that they've seen on social media and you kind of realize, I can't see that, I don't have access to that. Um, it might be something like that, but you're going to find out in some way. Now. I think you'll come to realize that um, things are being hidden from you. And this is probably when your instincts are going to be confirmed. So the man in this card, if you look at him, obviously he's hiding something behind this curtain and he's smiling at us. He wants us to think everything's fine, but we can't see what's going on behind the curtain. He's hiding something from us. And also the fact that if you look at this man doing this big cheesy grin and not cheesy grin, but this big smile and it looks a little bit like a selfie to me. Um, it always does this card. So that makes me think this might be social media as well. You're seeing something on social media or you're not seeing something, I should say. You're being restricted from seeing something on social media. So if this all resonates with you, of course, of course, this realization isn't going to feel very good. 
but knowing at least some of the truth about this person is a good thing for you. Uh, you're going to realize that you're not imagining things, your, um, your instincts are correct. And, you know, I just think even though it is going to hurt, um, it's always good to know the truth. Even if it hurts, it's good to know the truth. That's what I'm seeing. So at least you know where you are. At least you know where you are with them. The last card you have um, for your present is the lovers. So I'm seeing a few things in this card. Um, this card can be about choices. And um, I think you're finally going to make a choice about this person. Obviously, if they're hiding things from you and they want to conduct parts of their life without you seeing it, um, you're probably going to decide to either distance yourself uh, for a long, long time or you're going to completely remove yourself from this person, which I think is probably what you're going to do. I'm not seeing you even saying much to them about this. I think, you know, if they come and ask you, you're going to say, but other than that, you're just going to say, right, that's it. I'm not going to have much to do with this person. Um, because yeah, this just confirms your instincts. Um, and of course this hurts. It hurts to be hidden from parts of someone's life, um, especially someone who you thought you were very, very close to and you were close to this person. But I think um, when you've gotten over the worst of all of this hurt, uh, you're going to decide just to be really careful and even vigilant, vigilant about who you're going to let close to you again. Unless people have a very, very deep and very real connection with you, real is the important thing here. Um, unless they have this with you, you're just not going to let them close to you again. Um, and you know, if you look at the man on this card, he's looking over at this woman. It looks as if he's trying to catch her eye, but she's not looking at him. She's looking up to this beautiful angel. Um, and, you know, she's looking for a spiritual connection. She's looking for a deeper connection. And if this all resonates, this is the only thing you're going to accept from now on. You're only going to have either very, very close friends that know you so well, you can 100% trust them, or nothing. You're looking for real connection. You're looking for spiritual connections uh, and all of that deep connections. And you're not going to accept anything um, that's uh, less than that. That's what I'm seeing in that card. The first card you have for your future is the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, of course, you're still going to be a bit up and down in your emotions around this for a while. But, uh, you know, things are, will eventually settle down. You'll come back into balance um, after a while. And, you know, you know that. But, of course, it's going to hurt for a while. You're still going to be thinking about all of this for a while. Um, the other thing I'm seeing is that um, you might have um, you might have an unsuspected expense coming up. Um, don't worry, this isn't going to make you bankrupt or anything terrible. But um, just make sure that you have some money put away or put to one side. Be careful of any extra spending at this time. Um, and um, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Don't stress about this. I'm not seeing any huge disasters or accidents or anything like that. But this might be something around a car or some kind of vehicle. Uh, again, I'm not seeing an accident, just an expense around this. Something around car, wheels, vehicle. That's what I'm seeing. So put some money aside. You might have to pay up some extra for something around a car. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your future is the Eight of Wands. So I think there might be someone um, who's actually really interested in you. Um, and I think this person might have been around you for a while. I think maybe uh, they might have had a crush on you actually uh, for a while. Um, and I think this person's either going to ask you out soon or they're going to make it very clear that they're interested in you soon. Uh, I think this person might be around your workplace or around work in some way. Maybe they're a colleague or a client. Uh, it's something like that. Um, I know Valentine's Day is coming up soon, so maybe they're going to choose that day to let you know, or maybe uh, the thought of that day being close coming up might uh, put the idea in their head to finally talk to you or ask you out or something like that. But expect a lot of communication from them. I'm actually seeing, I'll tell you what, I'm seeing a lot of, um, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of nervous communication coming from them. They're going to be really nervous and they're going to be saying a lot really quickly, like, oh, um, blah, 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 like that kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite sweet, actually. Um, they're going to be talking to you a lot when the time comes. They're going to be talking to you a lot. Um, 
So the last card you have for your future is the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I am seeing a lot of communication around you at this time. Uh, obviously this card can be about cycles, one goes up and the other one goes down and I think you've obviously been through a cycle of, of people not communicating with you properly, shutting you out of things, hiding things from you and you've been walking away from people, not talking to them, distancing yourself from people. So you've obviously been through a time of not communicating with people, non-communication and now you're starting to go through a cycle of lots of communication so i'm seeing you're going to start to get back in contact with a few people who you haven't seen for a long time i'm seeing two close friends actually who you'll be seeing a lot of at this time uh, there's also this communication coming in from a motorbike no it's not coming in from a motorbike it's coming in from this person who has a crush on you um so yeah, they're going to give you lots and lots of communication as well. So I don't know if this is going to be welcome or not. <laughs> it might not be, I don't know. But uh, you're going to be um, talking a lot, listening a lot. You're going to be very busy socially at this time. Um, and I think this might be a bit different for you, actually, because um, you can be a bit quiet around a lot of people. You prefer daydreaming sometimes over people, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. But I think these friends are people who you know and who you trust, these two friends anyway. Uh, so you're going to have a lot of positive interaction with them, a nice time with them. Uh, but you are going to have a lot of people around you talking to you, inviting you to things, going out with people, all of that kind of thing at this time. So just prepare for that. 